Hi, my name is Rick. I'm a cloud solution architect focusing on app innovation. Today I'm going to walk you through creating your first experiment with CAS Studio. Before I dive into using CAS Studio, let me explain what CAS engineering is. It's a disciplined approach to finding failures before they become outages. You literally break things on purpose to learn how to build more resilient solutions. I would encourage you to consider adding CAS engineering concepts to your software development life cycle. In a future session, I'll explain why it's important to adopt CAS engineering as part of your software development life cycle. Let's dive right into creating our first experiment. Okay, there are some prerequisites that are required for CAS Studio, which I'm not going to cover in today's lab. What I'd recommend that you do is to navigate out to my GitHub Pages site, my CAS Lab site here uh, that you can see on the screen here and just click on prerequisites and this will walk you through the necessary prerequisites that you'll need to be able to get CAS Studio up and running. I'd also recommend if you are interested in having some hands-on labs with CAS Studio uh, to take advantage of the labs that I have out here. I have uh, four labs right now and I have two of these labs completed. I'm working on lab three and four. So I hope you find this to be helpful and I encourage you to experiment with Chaos Studio. Thank you. Okay, let's start the process of creating our first Chaos Studio experiment. Today we're going to be focusing on creating a network security group fault targeting service bus. So the first thing that I need to do is to create a network security group. So we'll click on create. Next we'll select our resource group. 1-RG-Dev Demo. I'll give it a name. I'll call this NSG-Dev Demo-1. And I'll click Review Create. Click Create. We'll let this deployment complete go to the resource and we can see here that we have three inbound rules and three outbound rules. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to create a managed identity. So I've already created the managed identity over here and let me show you how it's set up and then I'll walk you through the process. So we have our managed identity here and for this managed identity we need to add a role assignment and the role assignment that we need to add is Network Contributor. The reason why we need Network Contributor is because we will be adding a dynamic rule to the Network Security Group. So now that that is said, let me explain why I pre-created this. So when you add the role, it takes some time for this to propagate. So in an effort to save time, I went ahead and pre-created it. So I'll quickly walk you through the process. So here we are in Manage Identities. We click on Create. Select a resource group, and what I'm going to do is put this in my trash resource group. And for the name, I'm going to call this UMI Test Review Create. Click Create. Then, once this is created, we're going to add the role assignment. So, we'll go to the resource, we'll click on Azure Role Assignments, click on Add Role Assignment. For scope, we'll select subscription, and for role, we'll select network contributor. Click save. As I said earlier, this takes a bit to, to complete. So instead of using this one, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the managed identity that I pre-created earlier that has a network contributor uh, role associated with it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate over here to Chaos Studio and we'll begin creating our experiment. But before we do that, we need to enable our target uh, for our resource group. And so I'll select the resource group in question. And we can see here that we don't have the service direct faults enabled for this target. So that's the very first thing that you need to do. Select the NSG and, and click on Enable Service Direct Target. Click on Review Enable, then click on Enable. 
And once this completes, this will allow us to target uh, those NSG faults against that network security group. So we'll let this complete here, then we'll navigate back to Chaos Studio, and we'll take a look at those targets, and I will show you how it's been enabled. So I'll go back to Chaos Studio, go back to Targets, I'll select our resource group again, and we can see here it's not propagated yet, but let's give it a minute to refresh. And we'll select our group again. Now we see that the service direct target has been enabled. If I click on manage actions, we'll see that we have the capabilities to invoke NSG based faults against this network security group. So that's good news. Now we'll move on to the experiment and we'll create a new experiment. And we already have the resource group selected, so we'll call this exp dash dev radio demo x and I'll click on review create actually I want to go back to previous click on permissions this is very important it's easy to overlook this step here so because we're using a user assigned identity by default it will automatically assign a system assigned identity so we want to select user sign here and we want to click on add identity and we need to add our user assigned identity so I'm going to just do a quick search and I can see here that this is the user assigned identity so I'll click on that and I'll click add and then I will click on experiment designer and I'm going to click on Add Action, Add Fault. And next we're going to add our NSG fault here, NSG Security Rule version 1.1. And for destination address, I'm going to set this to Service Bus. And click Target Resources. Then I need to select the NSG that we're going to target here, which is this Demo 1 and I am going to click add then I'm going to click on review create then click on create so we'll let the experiment uh, deployment process complete and then we will go to the resource and now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start the experiment and what you'll see is it's going to go through a couple different phases so it's going to go through this pre-processing, then it'll eventually start running. And when it's running, what will happen is it's going to add uh, this fault here based on these settings for this NSG here. You'll see that the name of this security um, rule that's going to create is called Deny All Outbound. So now if I navigate back to Chaos Studio, take a look at Experiments, and we're going to take a look at the experiment and we can see it's running so I'm going to navigate over here to this tab and so I'm going to verify that it is in fact in, it is running by taking a look at our NSG and we see that it added the deny all outbound rule and now it's denying all traffic to service bus so that's how you can determine that your fault is functioning so we see it's running now. So by default, uh, it was set to run for 10 minutes. So instead of sitting here waiting for 10 minutes, I'm going to stop it. And this will stop the operation and it'll go into a canceling state. And then it will remove the rule from the NSG. So we can see it's canceling now. I'll navigate quickly back and refresh. You can see it's still here. If I continue to click re refresh. It will eventually remove it after the canceling process is completed. And as you can see, the rule has been removed. So that completes our experiment for today. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.